Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos in the uh, Petrov Piano Factory outside of Prague. What I want to talk about uh, in this section, it's nice that, uh, that we've got the, this part of the factory kind of to ourselves here. Um, because we're getting into something maybe a little bit less technical, although I will get into that in a second, but, but uh, really kind of philosophical. And something that I appreciate about the uh, Petrov um, uh, way of doing things that they, is that they really approach things from a philosophical standpoint before they actually start um, putting things down on, in, uh, on paper. <clears throat> so, so their philosophy for small grants is very different from their philosophy for larger grants. For a, for a small grant, what they're going for, they realize that they're, that they're generally going to be put in, in a home setting and a larger grand is going to be more of a concert setting where, where the sound, the, the final goal, is, is very different. In a home setting, what they're looking for is a, is a warmer, richer, more intimate sound. And uh, in a concert setting, what they're looking for is power and projection. Now, uh, now I, I wouldn't necessarily say that, uh, that this philosophy is is superior in some way to this piano manufacturer or that piano manufacturer, but it's, if it's something that uh, resonates with you, then great, and if not, then, then that's okay too. Uh, anyway, and, and, and the way they achieve that, that, uh, that end goal is, is uh, they've got lots of different steps. I just want to highlight one of them. So this is the outer rim, that, that big shape there, of course, that distinctive grand piano shape there, is the outer rim, where uh, what, what will later be covered in, in veneer and, and finished uh, in either that high, high polish ebony or walnut or mahogany or whatever it happens to be. That's, that's the outer rim, that's the outside of the piano. And, and what they have here, is, is alder that is glued together and this CNC controlled machine makes these cuts making this making this very flexible so that it can be bent into that shape. Now the idea being this is solid wood as opposed to super hard laminated pieces that are glued together to make like a rock solid um, uh, frame essentially for the piano as solid wood, what, what this does, the effect that this has on the tone, getting back to what I was talking about a couple minutes ago, is that the soundboard, uh, the, as it vibrates, when it's super hard uh, laminated sheets glued together, it, uh, it, it gives it power. It, it keeps the sound vibrating in that sound, uh, in that soundboard, and, it, and it's very powerful and it projects it throughout the concert hall. Whereas when you have, when you have uh, alder that is, is glued together and then cut in this way, it enables some of that sound to come out into the outer rim, um, giving a richer, warmer tone. Let's go over here and, and, look at, and look at this. Look at these two just as, a, as an example. So first we'll start with a smaller piano. You can see these, these cuts that have been made there. And then this, uh, this veneer has been glued to it so that it retains its shape. And over here, we have these larger uh, concert size pianos where the uh, veneer is, is glued together in this shape, again, this is, this is super hard and it, uh, it kind of, uh, what, it, it, prevents the, it prevents the sound, it, it keeps the sound locked in the soundboard in this, in this region, um, enabling projection. <laughs> 